Hello, this is Angelia with today's wisdom. Today's wisdom comes uh, from Daily Ohm, Interfering Lessons of Reflection. Excuse me. When we care about people, we want to save them from pain by offering them the benefit of our experience. And we all do. We do it with our kids. We do it with, you know, family, friends, you know, because we don't want ha them to have to go through stuff that we've been through. But sometimes that's just our experience and our opinions, you know. Sometimes we feel like we know what is best for them. And, of course, especially us parents, we do. Uh, but sometimes you, they are not going to listen. you got to let them live their life. Sometimes, like when their safety is involved, we need to step in. But those times are rare. Um, I had a situation where I felt like I needed to step in yesterday with uh, an in-law because I heard something disturbing, um, but the person was upset and not sure exactly what because they couldn't give me good answers. So I got a hold of the person involved and said, hey, I heard this happen. Did this happen? Because if so, that's a problem. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, they think it was just a misunderstanding and it was all fine so you know more often we find ourselves becoming frustrated when our close fam fam family and friends do not use our relationship insights or follow our dietary advice and this is where we find our challenge um because some people like to macromanage everyone's life <laughs> you know um but you can't do that you can only manage yours and you don't need to micromanage it or you're going to be a nervous wreck. <clears throat> we may even find ourselves becoming angry when they choose another path. Um, and you shouldn't because it's their life, not yours. You know, uh, there's several things I can think of. Mind your own beeswax or, you know, keep your nose out of other people's business, blah, blah, blah. But good policy unless you feel like you really have to you know the strength of feeling is usually a sign that our motivations go beyond merely helping another to indicate that there is a lesson there for us um, and a lot of times that's so if you're upset with someone for not listening to you think about why that is and a lot of times it's because you didn't listen to somebody else um, who gave you some advice and it caused your problems uh, so you know, um, if you find yourself getting irritated with other people, um, take a step back and examine why that is. First, we need to keep in mind that each of us is on our own path and that we all learn differently. Um, and that's something I learned from being a mom. Each one of my kids learn differently. Um, and I've learned that everyone, you know, and, and that's one of the reasons I could give you know, some people, some slack that people said I didn't necessarily need to get some slack to. But, um, I understood them a little better after, you know, having children, uh, that had similar, uh, problems. And then I'm like, oh, well, that's why this is a thing. Because it's like this. But, um, sometimes we have to take a step back and think, you know, they're not me. They haven't lived my experience. They've lived their experience. Um, so they're going on what they know at this point in time and they're doing their best. Um, and sometimes you kind of have to take a hands-off approach. <clears throat> when we trust the universe or God, we know that there is a higher power at work that knows what is best for our loved one. Um, and there's no, you know, shame in sending up a prayer for them. I pray for a lot of people. Um, because I feel like they're not <laughs> on the path I would have for them. But I know I'm not in charge. But I know someone who is. So, you know, when I feel like people are going the wrong direction, I send up a prayer for them. Because, you know, they ain't always going to take my advice. Since we do not want to deny them experiences of deep feeling that are essential steps in the growth of their spirit, we can instead offer them our counsel. And again, you can tell people anything, but that doesn't mean they have to listen. Um, 
After we have given our gift, it is time to release it, along with our expectations of them and their choices with love. Remember, um, people don't have to listen to you. And remember what we talked about, you know, um, <coughs> letting go of your expectations, uh, because your expectations is what disappoint you. The situation, the person did not disappoint you. Your expectations of what was going to happen is what disappointed you. So you have to manage your expectations. Um, and again, tell them, you know, if, you know, if like, I love you and I don't want to see you get hurt. I don't want to see this happen to you. I don't want to see you end up in a bad place. You know, um, there's no shame in that. Um, and you might even get their attention, you know, if you put it in a loving way. Once that is done, we can remind ourselves that our relationships are mirrors that allow us to see ourselves more clearly in the reflection. So, if you're having a lot of problems with people, you can take a step back and figure out why is that. Am I to blame in any way on that? Um, and examine your actions and decide for yourself. Um, and then if you think there is, then that's when you can do some fine-tuning. You know, we're, we're all not finished yet. We're never going to be finished, you know. So, if you need to do some fine-tuning, do it. Um, and then, you know, remember that everyone is not you. Everyone does not have your life. Everyone's a unique individual. Um, and they've had their life. So, they might be operating on what they know for themselves. Um, even if you can see the problem coming, maybe they can't. And maybe they're not going to believe it until they learn their own lesson. Which, unfortunately, you know, with our kids, we have to sit back sometimes and go like... Oh, I see that coming, but you're not listening. That is why it's easier for us to see solutions to other people's problems than to see answers for our own because we're too emotionally involved in our own problems. Um, we're not as emotionally involved in their problems, so we can see, you know, some logical conclusions in their problems because we're not emotionally invested. Um, we have problems with our own problems because we're emotionally invested and your emotions will override your mentality a lot of times. We can also learn from these experiences when we ask ourselves if we ever do the same things. And of course we do. We're only human. Maybe we do not share experiences with relationships, but we do with our finances or our food choices. Um, so. You know, there's some things people don't share about. In being willing to look at ourselves and see why we are being irritated by what other people choose to do with their lives, we can be like an oyster and make irritations into pearls. Um, and, you know, there have been probably, I'd say maybe three to four people in my life, I've known a lot of people, that I just could not... <laughs> could not deal with and I had to walk away from that uh, friendship or relationship because they were so different from me and so negative uh, and ignorant and hateful and indecent that I just could not be involved with them you know we might have started out as friends or whatever um, and then there came a point where and let's face it we all put our best foot forward but sometimes, <laughs> that foot is not for real. That foot is for show. Um, and I've met people that, once you scratch the surface, what's, what's underneath that surface is pretty ugly. You know, they got a lot of varnish on that scratched up wood, you know. Uh, and sometimes, you know, we just have to say, I'm not going to have this in my life. I'm walking away. <laughs> and that's a shame, but it happens. But sometimes we can work on the irritations, figure out why we're irritated, um, and see if there's anything in us that's making that irritated, and then fine tune that, and that's when you're making pearls. With these pearls of wisdom, we learn to release the desire for control over others and instead enrich their lives as we enrich our own. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do right here is enrich your life by giving you some knowledge that I that I have gleaned um you know 
so that uh, it don't have to be so hard for you. See, I'm trying to give you a little, a little advice, but <laughs> that don't mean you have to listen, does it? <laughs> so, you know, whenever you feel like um, you might be interfering, um, you know, uh, reflect on that um, and see what that's all about for yourself. Think about it. Um, please uh, like and share this wisdom so we can spread it around the world. Uh, if you want to help me out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out any more, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.